In this video, I'm back for another episode of my Trading to Glory series. Let's, if you enjoy this video and you want to see as consistent as I can possibly do it, just drop a like on this video. Like target is going to be over a thousand likes. I know for a fact that you can do it. Let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any fee for 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, like I said at the start, welcome back to another episode of my Trade to Glory. This is a series where we go through trade from absolutely nothing to as many coins as we possibly will ever need before, hopefully, team of the season. Now, Thank you so much for all the support on yesterday's video. I'm preempting that mainly because I'm trying to get some of these recorded in advance. I'm hoping that you boys enjoyed that. So I thought there's no point in me coming on the series and not at least thanking you, regardless of if it's one, two, three, five thousand likes. I don't care. Just if you watch the videos, thank you. I do appreciate it. And where are we up to? So, what have I been doing? I have been doing some fodder trading. I have been picking up some Grimaldos, Tagliaficos, and I think I got a couple of other ones as well. We'll run through everything that I've been doing though. So, the day that I'm recording this now is Thursday, and that's when I've been doing all of this trading. So, basically, this is a little method that you can use. Really, really simple method, boys. What you need to do is just go and do some sniping with fodder on Thursdays. It, honestly, it works every single time, especially if there's any decent SBCs out. So, like at the minute, for example, the there's the Wayne Rooney and the Ronaldo SBC out that you can go and complete and they require a lot of fodder to do it. I'm pretty sure that Ronaldo's still out at the time of recording this. Is he still out? Okay, it looks like he's not out anymore. Regardless though, you've still got Wayne Rooney and you need 84s to help complete that. So I thought with the demand still being pretty high for that, I thought sniping some fodder on rewards day was definitely the play. In addition to that as well, I have been doing some position change and chemistry style trading methods as well. As you'll be able to see right here, I've been doing it with loads of threads, loads of and Don Bele, so Sokos, if you've been watching the streams, you know exactly what I've been doing. In addition to that as well, I've got a Biela Field card there for 7,000 coins. However, with all of this right here, I am going to list it up for over 12 hours. And you might be wondering, Lewis, what the hell is this method? I did make a video on it the other day. However, like I said in the last episode, I don't mind repeating up on methods like whatsoever. I really, really don't mind doing it. So I'll show you exactly how I've been making coins. And this is really, really good if you've got, like, say, 100,000 coins. Really, really good method. So what you need to do, go and find yourself a player. And you've just seen right there, I've been doing some silver trading. We'll talk about that in a sec, though. You didn't see anything. So like I said, you need to go and find yourself a central player who is either base at centre mid, centre attacking mid or striker. And what you need to do is basically just pick a random card who's sort of between 2,500 coins and 9,900. So one who I've been using quite a bit has been Fakir, who I showed off in the video from the other day. So he comes out as a 83 rated cam. And at the time of recording this, he's actually going for around 3,200. Okay, so his price has actually come down ever so slightly. That's probably because of the marquee matchup. So what basically I've been doing is say, for example, with Fakir, I'll find his average price at 3,000 coins and then I just go to the 59th minute and I just sit there on the 59th minute doing compare price and backing out. Now, I had someone come in the stream today who actually said, that, that that's a, that's the deal, I'll pick that one up. Oh, damn it. Do it! Donut! Someone came in the stream today and they went, Lewis, why do you use the compare price method over just using a normal sniping method? Now, typically in the past, I probably would have recommended to do this, just sit here at 2.5k, sell at 3k. Now, with this method, basically what we're doing is we're picking up cards who are, say, listed up in centre mid, striker, they've got Hunter on them, Shadow on them, any chem style, for example. So I'm basically combining the chem style method and the position change method at one time. And the reason why that they then go for more is because it costs so much to convert that card. So say for example, people are running a road to glory and they want Fakir in the team, but they don't want it at cam, they want it at centre mid. They're prepared to pay an extra premium on that card. And what actually happens is people go over to Footbin and they go and see how much Fakir's going for. Say they've got a centre mid version of that card. They see he's going for 3k and they just list him up at 3k, not realising that he could go for the tiniest bit more in centre mid. So for example, with Fakir at the minute, Fakir's a really, really good one to do this with. He's actually going for, I think he was going before for around 5,000 coins, actually going for 4,000 coins at the minute, which in my opinion is actually a deal. You know what? I think both of these are deals because I've picked up this card for a similar-ish, you know what? 
Yeah, why not, eh? Why not? I'll take a risk and I'll sell overnight and I can see if I'm going to be able to sell it on or not. So I'll list it up at 5.5k and then I've got another one there at 5.5k as well. 12 hours, lovely stuff. Ignore those silvers for the time being though, you, you didn't see anything. So if we jump back over to my transfer list, I should be able to see a lot of cards I have been doing this with and it's worked very, very well. Valverde is one that I've been trying this out with. Zachariah has been one I've been trying this out with and Don Bellis, Sissoko. So any cards that you see on my transfer list, boys, they're probably a decent player to do this with. Paulinho is another one that I'm trying this out with. You can see here with some Sissokos I've got in Shadows, Engines in CDM, or Hunters, for example. Anyway, though, if we back out and go over to the store, yeah, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. I've got loads of silver cards. Now, in the last series that I did the Train to a Million Coins, I did this every single Thursday on stream and I literally just went through a load of different clubs. Now, from the last series, admittedly, this is cheating ever so slightly. I wrote down quite a few. Like this motherfucker, don't miss. So admittedly, I do already have a lot of these prices already and I've literally gone through filter by filter and just gone back through all that. So let me just show you a couple of these deals that I've got. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow morning when I eventually do sell a lot of these on. Some of this stuff I will sell on tonight. Some of it I'll probably wait until the morning. So for example, right, we've got Benevento Defenders, 700 coins. They're going for like 2.5K at the minute. So basically what happens is when we get marquee matchups every single week, player prices come down. It's really, really not that that difficult and certain player prices will come down from different league SBC. So let me just show you dead dead quick what how this all works. So if I go over to squad building challenges right and I'm going to use the Benevento one because it's just the easiest one to talk about. If we go over to leagues and we go over to the Serie A before completing the full Serie A league SBC you get 100k pack right. Benevento plays exactly 11. They are very very short on certain positions one of which is the back line with defenders and as you can see it's a five at the back formation. So what happens is every Thursday we get marquee matchups and the marquee matchups at the minute, as far as I'm aware, they give you like Electrum player packs. To be honest, even if there's one pack that's a silver pack, it, it gives some kind of supply to the market. So let me just go over to the marquee matchups. We're Electrum players pack just for the overall marquee matchups. Got Fenerbahce and Galatasaray and you've got Piemonte and Roma. So there's three potential avenues there for silver supply and as a result of that they come down in price usually I start sniping around 6 p.m half six and then I start taking a look at bids I start taking a look at loads of different things but in my opinion I just prefer just picking up on a snipe to be honest so I always go for like the same thing and I'll show you a couple of different filters that you can use as well so I'll go over here go over to silvers go over to defenders go over to Benevento again everyone in the NAN knows about this filter but before they were going for like 2.2k they're already up to 2.5k now I sit here compare price and I just wait for cards to pop up and when they pop up I can usually get them because I'm sat here and there's not as much competition as there was during team of the year and I think people will start crafting packs tomorrow for Friday because Future Stars is out and I think with everybody who was crafting packs over team of the year they sort of see how beneficial crafting can actually be so that's something which I've been doing again I have all of the prices wrote down from the last series so it is a bit of a cheating way, but it's one of them boys. If I've got it there, why would I not use it? Do you get me? And again, what I do is I just buy as many as I possibly can do and they all go into my own sign. So for example, I've got a Dallas here at 3.7k and if I wanted to, I could sell him on now at 7.5 and I'm making 5,000 coins profit. To be honest, you know what? Sod it. I'll do 7.7k. Lovely stuff. And then I've got other ones like this Cooper right here at 5,000 coins. This guy, 1.6. I've got a Klitsch, 4.7k. Do you get what I'm saying, boys? It's 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 not hard when you know what teams to go for because you can sort of judge what deals are good and what deals aren't. But overall, I think I had around 113,000 coins from the last video and I've put the pretty much the majority of that into silvers because well why not it worked last time so there's no point me not doing it now so what I'm going to do I'm going to get all of this stuff sold on so you can see in the top left we've just sold on our Dallas at 7.7k so I'm going to get all of this either sold on or I'm going to start to sell stuff on and I'll be back in the morning I suppose I think that's I think that's me done for tonight I may even go through and pick up some more silvers just to make sure that I'm definitely on zero coins before I go to bed but there you go boys that's that's Probably one of the best ways to make coins right now. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. All right, boys, so it is the next day, and I have got a couple of different things that I need to talk to you about. First thing is going to be, Lewis, why the hell are you on 35,000 coins? Just, 
Shit, 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 shit. First things first though, silvers, how did they do? I'll run through all these silvers. I think with a lot of these silvers, it was like a thousand coins, no more. Dallas was a very, very good one. I think I picked him up at like 5,000 coins last night. So overall, boys, I did very, very well with the silvers last night. And like I was saying earlier, I know roughly what a lot of these prices are going for. However, we've not been as lucky as I thought we would be. As you can see right here, some of them just haven't sold on. So uh, you know what? I'm going to take this Cooper as an example right here. Bought for 5,000 coins last night ideally should be going for like 7k today however he's not why is he not if you take a look at the time remaining his supply massively outweighs the demand for league SBCs at the minute and this is going to be something which I sort of half expected to be honest because the thing is more and more people are now finding out about the silver method and just buying in on Thursday selling Friday it's not a hard method to do and if you know the teams it's really not that hard and especially with Leeds and West Brom being so popular and everyone knows how expensive they are and it's sort of become a meme everyone went and invested in Leeds players last night thus meaning that we have now lost out on profit because people haven't listed these up one by one. Now, ideally what you need to do is list up a card, wait for it to sell, list up your other card and keep going like that. However, what's actually happened is people have probably listed, say for an hour mark at a certain price that they thought was gonna sell and they've been undercut. And then they're like, right, well now what? I'll just go under. And what happens is if you keep going under and under and under with enough supply, you're eventually gonna bring the price down because the demand needs to outweigh the supply. And that's not what has happened here at all. So Cooper, I could be looking at a loss of 5,000 coins on. I'm going to be completely honest, boys. It is what it is. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. It's completely out of my hands. And admittedly, I've got some decent deals. Like, this at 600 is really, really good for a Udinese centre back. I've got a Berardi right here, 5,000 coins. He's another one. He was just mass invested in last night. And that, mixed in with the not really being a mega high demand for league SBCs, is obviously going to bring players' prices down. However, if I go over to the store, not transfer targets, I will show you that I've actually got myself some very, very nice deals that I'm happy to list up right now so i've got myself a cooper right here at 3.5k who is currently going for around 5.8 admittedly he was the ones who i didn't really get the best deal on with the 5k one doesn't really matter though i've got a barber right here at 1.3k he's going for around 2.5k so these ones like the benevento ones have done very very well and benevento is going to be one that i'm probably going to stick to in the future i've got a volta right here at 2k going for like 2.4 not the best deal in the world but i've got this one at 1.2 so for every bad deal that i've got i've got like two three three, four good deals as well. So it's not really too bad, you get what I'm saying. In addition to that as well, I've gone through and I've picked up myself some Freds, some Coutinho's, Jao Felix. I've gone for Sissoko as well. And the main ones that I've gone for has been Jao Felix and Sissoko as well. So for the Sissokos, I've paid no more than 2.2K. I can go through absolutely every single one of these. Oh, I tell a lie, I paid 2.3 on this one. But for all of these, basically what I've done is I've gone for cards who have either got a shadow on them or the position changed or both and that usually will increase the price of that player. Felix was another one. He starts off at a centre forward. You pretty much have to convert him over. And the fact that he's centre forward going from CAM to CM really appealed to me because you'd have to convert him over to CM and that costs an absolute fortune. So with this one here at 2.3k, I'll list up at 4.4. I'm going to be listing the majority of these on stream today. And let's just go and take a look at Felix as well. So as you can see, I've got loads of Felixes in striker and I've got some in centre attacking mid as well so what i'm going to do first off let's just go and take a look how much felix is going for and you might be wondering well lewis how the hell did you find these players i just thought back to players who i was using towards the start of the game and just went from there so felix at the minute without a striker on him because that's what we said we were going to check is 1.5k i've paid no more than 1.5k maybe 1.6 in some instances so 1.5 i just went to the 59th minute and there's another one sat there at 1.4 so i just went to the 59th minute and i just picked up deals and like i said if the position changed or they've got chem styles or they've got anything that's changed on them they usually go for more so let's just go over to striker and let's just double check how much he's going for with a striker on him i imagine he's probably going for around around 2000 coins and considering that we paid 1.5 i'm pretty happy with that a lot of them have got chem styles on them as well but in the worst case i can sell at 2000 i make 300 coins profit admittedly but I've, I've gone full into my unassigned on him. Do you know what I mean, boys? Like, it's not the worst idea that I've ever had, in my opinion. So there you go. The other ones that I've got are just a couple with, say, position changes on them, like a Sissoko here. I've gone for this one with a Catalyst on it. I can sell it on at 2.9k. And this is going to be another scenario as well, boys. I'm not dump listing these. I'm listing them up one by one. But a Felix here with a Striker and a Hunter on him, 2.5k seems fair to me. And you can go the other way as well with Cam. He goes for even more in Cam. So what I need to do 
do. I need to sell all these on, which I'll be doing on my stream today. And then I'll jump back after I finish streaming, boys. I'm fast as fuck, boy. So just checking in again, as you can see in the top left, I'm currently on 164,000 coins. Now, Xiao Felix absolutely banged because EA have recently released an objective that requires under 23 players. And as you can see, Xiao Felix is born in 1999. So this is a little method that you could probably use for quite a bit. Honestly, boys, silvers and position changes are the best ways to make coins right now in FIFA 21, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to talk a bit more about silver because I'm probably going to go ham again. I was hoping to finish up recording tonight. However, I'm probably going to finish recording on Sunday, upload the video on Sunday. So at the minute, I'm still sort of drip feeding quite a lot of cards up at the minute. And as you can see, I've actually started to buy back into silvers as well. So Felix right here, as you'll be able to see, 1.2k on that. And he is selling at the minute for 2,000 coins because people are needing him for that objective. I've got loads of circles still as well. So the big thing at the minute is, as you can see, 2.2 live trans transfers on the market it's usually sitting around 1 million on xbox at a dead period so at the minute there's so many cards on the market and a lot of which are silvers as well so like i said from yesterday me going through and just taking a look at some of the cards who i already know go for quite a bit when there is no supply so bella field defenders are usually good to do this with and what you can do is go through and pick a load of different filters and then check individual cards as you can see they've not really dipped too much tonight they're actually holding pretty steadily at 7,000 coins so i may even just try and keep coming back to and from this just to see if anything pops up but that's gonna be my player for tonight 164,000 coins. I expect to be on around 250,000 coins by Sunday. So taking tomorrow as a day off, but I just wanted to show all this because I need to clear my transfer list. Quite a lot of silvers have sold on as well. Some of the silvers that have sold on and some of them that haven't sold on have dipped more in price. However, I'm not really going to let that affect me too much because there's just no point in getting annoyed about it. So what I'm actually going to do with these, like this Cooper, for example, I've got 5k into him and he's dipped down to like 4,500 coins now, even lower. I think he can actually pop up now at like three and a half thousand coins so he's absolutely tanking so my plan is i'm going to sell on as much as i can do tonight and then i'm going to sell the rest on sunday monday tuesday wednesday because that's when the prices will be higher they typically start to go up around monday so that is going to be the plan for tonight so i'm just going to go off i'm just going to chill i'm just going to yeah I think, I think that just is the plan for tonight like just dump as much as I can do. I'll be back Sunday. We'll go from there, boys. All right, just jumping in really, really quickly. Just want to show you everything that I've done just before I head off for the night because, like I said, I'll probably be back on Sunday. So I've been winning cards on open bid. Here are all the cards that I've got on open bid. If you want to slow the video down to double check all the prices, you're more than welcome to. But tonight, everyone was basically reopening the marquee matchups pack. So again, when this video comes out, it'll be Sunday. Honestly, get prepared for Thursday, Friday this week coming. It will work for the exact same. So I can plan to sell on all of these as quickly as I can do. Bidding though works so so well. 2.7k on this card right here is actually going at the minute for around 8,000 coins and that's even without an inflation. At the time of recording this it is late Friday night. In addition to that as well I have gone back into my unassigned as well as and if we take a look at that you can see all of these cards here. 1.5 on a Shane Long, 1,000 on that one. Nilsson I got for 4.1k like I've basically gone through and just gone as ham as I can do. In addition to that as well, I've also picked up some fodder, picked up some Taglia Ficos at 7,000 coins because we did have lightning rounds. So I thought with there being lightning rounds, 84s could come down ever so slightly. And then in the run up to 6pm tomorrow, I might be able to get a sell on with them. So when I come back on Sunday, I'll have these already sold on. So that's the main reason why I'm just recording this bit right here. Still got a few Sissokos that I need to sell on, but this is pretty much where we're up to, boys. Got some Yoshidas at 1,100. I've got a Barber, one five i've basically just redone what i did for thursday for friday and that's pretty much where we're up to boys so i think i need to get some of these cards sold on because they are a bit of an iso at the minute why are you the way that you are honestly every time i try to do something fun or exciting you make it not that way hello Yes, as you can see, not everything has sold on. Yeah, boy. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, boys. I really, really don't know what to tell you. It's fine, boys. It really, it, it is fine. So here's what everything sold on for, silvers wise. I think I'm all out of silvers. All of them have sold on. And we're currently on 35k. And you might be wondering, Lewis, why the hell are you on 35k? So 
Yesterday, I was expecting EA to release this 85 plus double upgrade. Now, when this video's out, this SBC might be out and I might be sat here going, ha 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 ha, told you so, ha 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 ha. However, for the time being, I am not like that because I have still got all of these Tagliafico's in addition to that as well. I've still got some Sosokos. I've sold on the majority, but I've still probably got around 10 of which, which I can sell probably over the week. Overnight, a couple of them do go, so it's not too bad, but I've got plenty of Tagliafico's still. I did sell some of them, but not enough. And in addition to that as well, I have already made another investment because I am stupid and I can't help myself. So the investment that I've decided to go for late last night when I was having a little beverage, I decided, you know what, why not jump on FIFA? So I'm just gonna go over to the man of the match. Oh, okay, man of the matches isn't there, let's just go to special. So a Campos did get himself a man of the match last night night i think when you're watching this or the night before basically the early hours of saturday morning a campos did get himself a man of the match card now last week man of the match cards did very very well now the reason why i like this campos so much is because his card in comparison to his rule breakers card the gap is so so big so his rule breakers on xbox right now is going for seventy thousand coins this man of the match is going for twenty seven thousand coins there or thereabouts and i've picked up around six of him between 25 and 27k in the hopes that he'll get up to around 30,000 32,000 over the next 24 48 hours so if you do want to go and try and pick him up tonight i'm honestly not too sure how long he's in packs now in the past it was 24 hours for man of the matches i've had a look everywhere though i can't find anything about these cards and how long they're in pack so as you can see here 25 750 26 500 26 k 26 500 26 500 and i'm going to be looking to sell around 30,000 coins now once all of those have sold on as the soul cores are sold on and the tagliaficos are sold on we should be around 250,000 coins however i'm very aware that this video has been going on for a very long time so this is where i'm going to finish up this video i'm going to leave it until the next episode for when you find out whether or not these have sold on so the next episode of this, providing that we hit that like target, ASAP Rocky, will be on Tuesday. So if you want to see that, make sure to drop a like on this video. I'm going to relist all that just to see if anything does sell on. In now and Tuesday, if all of that stuff sells on, I'll probably remake some investments and I'll keep you updated as I go. In addition to that as well, I'll be doing position change trading and silver trading as well. So boys, I hope that you did enjoy episode two of this series. Thank you so much for all of your support. But... That's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. Let's, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Comment down below if you need help with anything. Subscribe if you're new. It's 26. This has been Trade to Glory, episode 2. And I am off. Goodbye.